This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a Shopify app that converts e-commerce website to mobile app. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS mobile application. Get an opportunity to grab 15% off by being the first 200 signups. Get the link in the description. Hello, welcome to Educate E-commerce, your one-stop destination for Shopify tutorials and e-commerce solutions. So today in this video, I'll be talking about data expert and how you can uh, automate your analytics on sales reports and other data related to your Shopify store. So as you know, Shopify pro uh, provides you with an amazing analytics app, uh, analytics settings, where you will be able to view different types of report. For example, sales report, online store sections, customer reports, uh, order values, all those things. But to integrate all of this into one single uh, report or uh, if you want to analyze a particular data with integration of multiple other filters you won't be able to do that so for that you will be needing a manual work of a csv file or you have to go for a google sheet and integrate all those and also uh, you can't generate a automatic report every month or every week or in a quarter other than you uh, have to sit and do that so uh, for that we'll be using another app and uh, see how you can uh, generate sales reports very easily and customizably easy, uh, on your store so before we get in the video don't forget to subscribe as we come up with videos on e-commerce and shopify every now and then to get your website performance up and top so uh, let's go to our app store and here we have a app which is called the data uh, export reports so you can just go to the link in the description and click on to the app page uh, to reach the app page so here using this you will be able to generate almost 2000 plus different type of reports using this app so all these data are customized and also there are multiple filters that you can use for your store so i'm just going to add this app onto my store and show you how a data is taken and how a data is uh, driven from your uh, shopify store so you can just install your app i'm just going to click on to install you will be asked to uh, give a data or um, email where you or your details should be enlisted so i'm just going to click on to continue so here uh, you will be able to create a report from here and you will be able to uh, choose the filters right from this site so it will take some time to sync all of the details from your shopify store into the app export uh, set section so i'll just take you through all of the details that you have so here we'll have a create report option here the sales and orders product variance related to uh, related filters inventory related filters fulfillment shipment all these variety of options are there and in each section you will be able to see different uh, sections so here you will be able to see sales summary so you will be able to see sales summary uh, per uh, product vendor sku for a particular sku from channels all those things so i'll show you how this is done and also you'll be able to uh, track all the reports that you have saved from here you can also schedule your reports on a monthly basis a quarterly basis or a weekly basis on a particular setting and also some account settings as well so let's wait for the uh, for this to sync up so the sync up is done so now you will uh, let's go and select some report and create a report so since mine is a development store there won't be much of the details uh, to show you but uh, i'll uh, take you through how this is done so uh, we have selected the uh, sales report for the month now you will be able to see that there are multiple options right here so first one uh, here this is the data that is uh, that we are going to see so it has a order date order count gross sales discounts returns net sales tax shipping all those details so to customize this report we have few options right here so let me take you to that so here you will be able to edit the name so here last 30 days sales uh, summary so i'll just change it to uh, last month january sales summary and i'm going to save this so that's the one report and the report type is sales definitely and then we have a field selector so here you will be able to select the field here so we have the order dates order count all those details so you can add the number of uh, columns or add the number of uh, text that you want to add so here we have gross sales discount so if you want to remove this discount you can just click on to close and if you want to uh, remove the uh, returns that you can also do that and also if you want to 
uh, add order id so you can just add that so also you can just uh, change it to the side as well in the numeric field or in the text field so we have multiple options like notes tags created month the delivery date uh, the user id and uh, there are multiple other options that you can choose from in uh, to create a report so that's about the field selector now again the date selector you can uh, choose the range from what date to what date that you want to uh, start this report so that's the date selector one now again the filter if you want to filter the details by date or if you want to uh, filter it by uh, gross sales or any sales numbers etc so you can add that as well so you just have to uh, create a thing so i'm going to uh, total sales is greater than so i've added a condition so new selection and you can just click on to apply so uh, that uh, details will be gone so since we had applied a filter of 200 so uh, you can just close that and cancel it and let me apply so here the sorting uh, this also sort by the order dates and the total number of sales or anything you can also sort the reports in that manner as well so uh, this is one report and you can just save this so this after saving it will be appearing in the my report section so you can choose go back and uh, select this report anytime and if you want to export it you can just click on to export and we have the we'll, it will be downloaded as a csv file as a, how a general csv will look like it will be like that so again let's go back and i'll show you a few more things so uh, if you want to add a product in the product variant section or if you want to collect the tax details of a particular customer so if you want to file a tax report you can just click on to the number uh, the tax that you have generated for a for any particular order so this is the tax detail from uh, any order so you can just export this and you can also uh, schedule the reports for example if you want to take a monthly uh, tax report you can just click on to schedule and here the, you will have to choose the schedule type so it will be hourly daily weekly or monthly i'm going to choose as monthly so since we have that and it will be generated in a particular time so if i select uh, like 12 am the report will be generated on that particular date the num the month uh, the uh, first day of the month for example january 1st or february 1st in the 12 am the report will be generated automatically so you can just save and continue and here you will you can either uh, transport it to the google sheet you can integrate that with the google drive and uh, you can also send as an email to any particular person so let me add a put, uh, email address so every uh, month first date the e email will be sent where uh, the tax report will be sent to that particular email or you'll be you will be just reminded that the report has been generated so you can schedule the reports in that way uh, also let me show you some other features as well here in the inventory section uh, some products will be out of stock if you go to the out of stock section you can see that these are the products that are out of stock so you can restock these products uh, like uh, in a timely basis i can schedule this also uh, as a daily so uh, every day i'll be uh, seeing which all the products are out of stock and i can uh, take the necessary actions so i'll just save this so you'll, here in the my report section you will be able to see the different type of reports that you have created then in the scheduler uh, there will be reports on a daily basis of the out of stock products it will be tax reports that will be coming in the every month so that are the few settings from the data export and there are multiple other options for example monthly tax customer information if you want to uh, take the customer information the date the uh, number or contact details for a newsletter example so all those things you can do that with this and also refund details uh, if the refund is processed or not you can schedule that report uh, in order to process the refunds so those are some examples now we have the account section right here so we have few uh, uh, settings here so you can give a uh, shop information right here the plan information is here you can uh, sync up so uh, you can also sync up the meta field meta fields are the details that comes in each of the products or uh, those things so those are the meta field sync up it will be done uh, by this and also if you want to uh, sync the customer and customer journey if you don't want to sync them or you 
want you don't want those details you can just uh, click that off and you can connect ftp uh, google drive sheets etc here so those are uh, some options that you have in the section so this is about the data export and how you can create amazing data without uh, having to work on a google sheet or anything this is a very simple plugin uh, app that you can use to generate reports and create schedules of reports so i hope this video helped you and if you like this video give up thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe we'll see you in another video bye